Hi there, and welcome to this game of Azul Stained Glass of Sintra. And we're going to have red versus blue, and I'm going to be playing as blue, so hopefully I'm going to win, but we'll see. And randomly determined, red is going to go first, and they are going to start by taking this one clear. And they'll put it just here on the first space of their board. Then it's our go, and hmm, I think getting some yellow might be a good idea. Getting orange would be an even better idea. So we're going to do that. We're going to go for the free orange here. And we're actually going to move over to this column here and place there. Then it's back over to red. And red is going to take from there. So these go into the middle and they're just going to place the one orange on there. Now back to us and I'd really like to get this pane filled but if we wait to the next round we'll get more points for doing it so I think we want to wait. In that case we kind of want to do pinks or oranges over here maybe. So we're going to go for the two pink and um, move over to here and then we can go two pink in there and drop those yellow into the middle there. Now red again and he's finally going to move a bit. He's going to move over to here and take two yellow which he'll drop in. And it's now our go, and we're going to have to take from the middle. So we're going to have to take the uh, first player marker, which means we count as having broken glass. So what do we want to take from there? Well, I think we might just take the opportunity to flip this pane, because we can do that. We can take the free pink, place them here without having to move, and then that's a completed pane. So we're not going to get any bonus points because it's clear that's giving bonus points, but still that'll give us two points. So we go one, two, and then all this other glass here, we break. We then flip our pane and it's over to red. Now red is gonna, hmm, it was kind of waiting to do that. He can't really afford to take the yellow. He wanted to wait on the orange, but maybe he should just take advantage of that orange being there and get at least some points out of it, but it's only going to get the one. So no, he doesn't want to do that. I think he's going to reset. So he's going to move to the far left and that's his go. It's back over to us. Best thing we can do is to reset as well um, to try and get that free orange or the free yellow so that we're set up to complete on future turns. So yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go to the left. It's over to red. He has to take tiles because he's at the leftmost space. So he is going to go here and take the free yellow which is a shame I would have liked those free yellow I think but never mind our turn I think we'll take the free orange and stay where we are red can then take the two blue or they can make us take the two blue I think red would like to be further to the left starting the next round maybe um, hmm. then having the two blue might be useful he's going to move over here and place the two blue so that's now the end of the round we discard the clear block from the top first round here into the broken glass we shake up the bag and we put four on each of the tiles Oh, interesting. It's kind of rare, but we've got 
Oh, that needs to go away. There's too many on there. Uh, we've actually ended up with all one colour on a single tile, on a single uh, factory space here. So that's really quite interesting and really tempting. And it is us to go first. I mean, being able to take four at once is really nice. But if we took two orange, we could then complete this and get the bonus points. So I think that's going to be the more valuable thing for us to do, especially as this is the orange bonus round and there isn't much orange out. So we're going to do that. We're going to dump the yellow and take the orange. So that'll get us five points for these. This moves down, getting us three points, so that's eight. And we also get the two points for the one we previously scored. So that puts our score to 10, taking us up to a total of 12. We then discard our glass and flip our pane. Now it's reds go. So, yeah. They can't really utilise taking this blue, actually, until they've moved left. And there's really what they want is either free pink or free orange at this stage. And they're just not there. I mean, there's only two pink in total. And there's only two orange left after we took a load. They don't have much space for yellow, which there's a lot of out. They've been a bit unlucky with how things have come out here. So I think what they're going to do is move to the left and it's over to us and obviously what we're going to do is take the four blue because there's no good reason to pass up four blue so we'll move one over and we'll do four blue and red so plenty of options now they would have liked to have taken the four blue but we took it so, free yellow, can they do anything with free yellow? No, they can't. But we could, and they don't want us to get it. So what they're going to do is they're going to take this orange, which will put all the yellow into the middle. So there's now five yellow there. So whoever ends up taking yellow is going to be breaking some glass. And with this orange, they'll have to move... They'll move this far. They don't have to move any further than that, so they won't and they'll place their orange. It's now our turn. Now if we get one clear, we can complete this pane, and blue and clear that are a lot on here aren't going to score for several rounds anyway, so I think it will be a good idea to get that done and scored. So let's do that. I guess we'll take that one, I just randomly picking, because I don't think it's going to make much difference really. So we're completing that, we're not getting any bonus score, but we are going to get two points for the column, plus two points for this. We're not going to score the stuff to the left here, so we're not going to get that three points. So that's four more points for us. One, two, three, four. We're very much shooting into the lead here. And I've not really been paying much attention to what I've been choosing to put on here. And I think that makes more sense to do if you're playing the B side. It's definitely much more of a concern what colour you're choosing to put there. There is an element still with the A side of you're removing tiles from the game in effect by doing that. So you're reducing the number, uh, the likelihood of that colour coming up. But anyway, it's Reds go. They could take here, get the first player marker, um, but they would count as breaking a piece of glass. However, it might... No, you know what? Because they can take this orange and place it there. They're going to do that. And it will dump all this into the middle, force us to be the first player, but also means forcing us to break glass yet again. Um, we can then choose one to take. And I think... I mean, we could stay where we are and take the clear. Or we could try and move. Um... I'm tempted to just take the one clear and not be moving. So we'll do that. It's then Reds go. They can safely take the blue and not move. So they're going to do that. It's so now our go. I think we can make it so that red ends up breaking a load of glass here. 
because if we take this red, which we can do moving there without breaking any yet, it's then reds go, they can reset, but it would then mean we could just reset or they can just take, uh, yeah, basically it comes down to they'd be denying us a reset. So they're going to go over here because that's the only way they can place any yellow and five broken glass. So one, two, three, four, five. That's a big minus, really nasty for them. But that now makes it the end of the round. So we get rid of our bonus tile and we put new tiles out. So four on each, one, two, three, four. Try not get any overdone this time. Oh, big chunk of blue again. Oh, big chunk of clear. Lots of clear coming out, but uh, what we really wanted was pink. Uh, we've got a little bit out, but not a whole lot. So, we're first. We put that in the middle. Um, what do we want to do? I mean, we could take the free clear and score where we are, and I think that makes the most sense. So let's do that. Because pink is a bonus one anyway. So we'll get the bonus for those two, plus the two for where we are. So that will get us four points. Okay, so now it's red. They're quite far over here. The only thing that they'd be able to take a, a reasonable amount of is the blue, which I would also be able to take. Oh, and I forgot. This has been double completed, so this pane simply gets removed from the game. So I'm going to have fewer options from now on. Anyway, it was reds go. What does red want to do? I mean, they could stay and just take single little bits, but it's not going to do them a whole lot of good. So I think they might be better off just moving over and then being able to take more on a later turn. Now for us, I'm thinking, thinking taking that blue, I mean that column is only worth one, so I don't really want to do that. It's too white uh, or clear, we've got nowhere to put that. I think we're going to just move to the left as well. So red and hmm, so they can now take that free blue or they could take the two white for where they currently are. And they've not scored anything yet, so they're not doing great. I think they need to take more. So they're going to take the free blue, which only means moving the one space. And then for Algo, I'd kind of like to pick up two yellow. There are only two yellow total available, though. So when they go into the middle, might be a better opportunity to pick those up. So what I think we'll do is we'll go and get the two clear to put here. Which leaves those in the middle and it's reds go. And they would really like to get free pink, score a tile out finally, and get some bonus points as well while it's still that colour. But they'd kind of like to get five pink and do this one. And I've not got a lot asking for pink, so they've got a good chance of managing that, or at least getting the four to do this one, which is further to the right, so it will score more often. Hmm. And it would mean more bonus points for them. So I think that's what they're going to do. They're going to hold off for those. And that leaves them taking... I mean, if they take a single blue, they could score this one. Blue's not going to score for a couple more rounds yet, so that might be a good idea. Or they could take the single blue here and be ready to potentially take a single clear. They're going to take the single blue to go where they already are. So I'll go and... Hmm. 
I mean, there's not a whole lot of yellow there. We could move over, ready for hopefully the yellow being in there to then complete here. And I think that might be a good idea. So we're going to do that. We're going to just going to move left. And that makes its reds go. And I think they are going to take a clear because they can just take a single clear or put all of that in there. And then it will allow them to complete that pane. So they're going to do that. And no bonus points, but that does give them three points. So one, two, three, they're finally on the scoreboard, having completed their first pane of glass. Took them a while, but they're getting there. And they flip over, and it's our turn. So, right. Uh, I mean, I don't like the idea of leaving all this pink for them, but it would be so much broken glass for us, it's better to just let them have it. I think we're going to do like we wanted and take the two yellow. So we're going to have another piece of broken glass, but we can place the two yellow here. We're not going to get any bonus points, but because it's the leftmost space, we're scoring everything else. So we've got four, seven, nine, eleven points, which is pretty sweet, taking us to 31. And we'll just drop that there and these in the broken glass and let's flip over all yellow wanted well there's no yellow out so that's not ideal reds go they finally got some score and what they're going to do is well they know we don't want these so maybe they don't bother taking those yet so there's a single clear or two orange they could take and i think the single clear or well, the two orange, I think they'll go for the two orange, move over here, because that will still allow them to move right to do the five on here. It's our go, we have to take one, I don't want to take the minus points, so we're going to take the clear one, and we'll move over to this pane here, where we can place it. It's reds go, and they're going to take all five of these and complete a pane with them which will get them five points for the fact that they're all the pinky red and two points so seven points taking them up to ten points still a bit of catching up for them to do but they're making some progress now and it's the end of the round so we remove the red so we're looking at yellows this time and Red might be quite far behind us, but they do have a lot of yellow on their board, so that could help them catch up this round. And uh, what are we getting out here? We've got some pinks, a bit of clear. Got some spread out yellow going on, which given it's the scoring one, and we've got quite a lot of yellow we need, isn't ideal. Um, I mean, we both have spaces for yellow. So, yeah, nothing jumping out at me so far as particularly good. Nothing more than pears there. It's us going first. We're all the way over here. So, I mean, maybe the thing to do is score where we are. <sighs> Just for kind of ease sake. Um, I mean, there's plenty of things to help us do that. It would mean that we could take a pear. It's not going to help us score any yellow, but I can't see much helping us with that really at this point. So what we're going to do is take the clear and we'll paste it right where we are. Now all we need is one orange, which shouldn't be too hard to get. There's two out there, should be easy. Reds go. Now they have a choice. They could take a pair of red to go on the end one here or they could move back. And I think what they're going to do is actually move back to the left and just set up for their next turn, which makes our choice very easy. Which one of these do we want to take? And I think we want to push as much blue as possible because we have got a full blue column here. We've got one asking for free into there. So we're going to take the single orange and do that. So that will then score this, no bonuses. 
so we get two points, four points. It doesn't matter that there's two in that column already, we still only score it the once. So that's four points, taking us to 35. And that's another pane removed completely because we've completed it twice. So we're getting quite narrow on our options now. But reds go, and they've still got plenty of options available. They haven't got any way they could put free blue, which is a tempting thing in the middle of the factories here. So what do they want to take? Well, they could take a two pink. That would help them considerably towards doing these things. Or they could kind of hold off and wait and leave those and until they go into the middle. And I think that's what they're going to do. And they want to try and score some of these ones that are going to get them bonus points. The, the ideal one would be this one, which is going to need two clear. So we'll wait for some clear to go in because I'm not, I can't place any more clear. I'm not going to take them. So they might as well just wait. So they want to get an orange for here. And there is one single orange. So they're going to do that which will complete that pane of glass, giving them two bonus points, plus one for, gives it up to three, plus two, so five, taking them to 15. And then all of this goes in the broken glass and we flip over and they need full yellow. <laughs> well, it's just not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> okay, our turn. We can't do anything where we are for definite. We could move further over but actually, I now just kind of want to focus on this lower half. And what I'm trying to do is clump together for the majority points with regards to the rounder space. And so I'm going to do that. It means we're not getting the benefit as much from the during game scoring of scoring when other things do. But yeah, that's, that's what we're going to try this game anyway. So red, they want an awful lot of yellow. Well... That's not actually an option. Um, so I think they might reset as well in the hopes of being able to do the two white here on their next go from the middle, even if it does mean taking one broken glass. So our turn would like a whole lot of yellow. There isn't a whole lot of yellow. But if we take out of here, we could take the free blue we need for this or we can take the two yellow this time and a single yellow next time be guaranteed to be able to do that i think we're gonna take the two might be foolish but we're gonna take the two we'll see how it turns out in a bit won't we it's not going to take too long to finish this um, so that makes it reds go. They can't do what they wanted, which was getting the two clear yet. So what can they do to kind of force the clear into there without moving past where they want to be? They could put something on this tile here, either a single blue or a single yellow. So maybe what they do is go for the single blue because they might then be able to put multiple yellow at a later point. And oh, we forgot to move when we place the things. It is our go. We want a single yellow. Um, we want to try and force as much red into here as possible to kind of overflow there. They, they need to have at most four. So if we can get all five of the red in here, that would be good. So we're going to take this single yellow to drop that in, completing our tile. So we get three bonus points, three for the column. So that's six, nine, 11, 13. So that will take us to 48. And that's then these broken and we'll flip. So we want all clear, which will be a nice one to score in the final round. Now it's red again. What does red want? They want these two clear. So they're going to move one over here and place these two clear from the center, which will mean that they 
are completing that, so they'll get a bonus three, plus three for the column, so that's six, seven, nine points, which will put them to 24. And they'll then flip their tile. So they really are struggling. Oh, and they've got a full clear needed as well now. Um, they're really struggling to keep up here. And I don't know if it's Blue's played very well, been very lucky with regards to what tiles have come out. I don't know. But uh, it's going well, so it's good for Blue. I think the sensible thing for Blue to do here is to move here and take the free blue while they can. A red's unlikely to take it, but they don't want the red. Oh, but they did want to push that red into there, so that if they're taking red, they're going to have to break glass. Yes, we want to do that. So we could take the clear and not move. Yellow would have to move all the way over here for pink over here. So yeah, I think we'll take the one clear and stay where we are. But that puts more of the pinky red in the middle there. So what is red player going to do? They could take free blue, that would be a load of broken glass for them. They could take the pink, that would be one broken glass for them. Or they can take the one yellow. So I think what they're going to do is come over here and do the one yellow because it means no broken glass for them and they're probably going to end up with the pinks, but then they can place them there and complete a pain. So it's not going to be the end of the world for them. I'll go, and now we are going to take the blue. And red is going to take the pink, so they're breaking another pane of glass. They're completing this pane with one bonus point, plus one, two, plus two, for four. One, two, three, four. So they're up to 28. So they, they're definitely catching up on us. They're, they're speeding up a bit. We're slowing down a bit, I think, on the scoring. And that's the end of another round. So our new round is going to be blue for bonuses. And we have enough. One, two, three, four. I think we're not going to have enough here. We're going to have to dip into the broken glass to refill the bag, yeah, all we do is pour it all from in here into the bag, shuffle it all up again, and then continue filling up. So, two more there. So, blue bonus round, and there's not a whole lot of blue available. Um, which, I, we've both got quite a bit of blue on our boards, not, so it's not that surprising and we'll be able to get the bonus points from those. Ideally, I want right now two orange, and there is a tile with two orange on, so yeah, we're taking that. So that completes. It has three blue on, so that's three points. Column is worth three points, so that's six, eight, ten. So that's going to get us another ten points putting us up to 58. So we're doing pretty good here. And that's another pane completely removed. So we have really got very few options, especially if we want to focus on these. We only want clear and yellow, basically. We might struggle a bit on that, but we can still put others elsewhere. So we're not at a complete loss. Now, red, Oh, they've got their wilds up, so that gives them quite a few options. But they really want to complete their ones with blue on, so they've got one that needs one blue. No, there's somewhere with two clear. Well, that's not a big deal for anywhere. I think they're actually going to jump over to the left. Zalgo, we're going to do the same because we want to work on these. So, what's red going to do now? Hmm. I mean, they could take two pink. It's not ideal. They, really, they just want a single blue to do this one. Or three pink to do this one. And ideally, they want to do this one before they do this one. So, I think what they're going to do is they're going to go here. They're going to take the two and the broken glass. Which... 
yeah, might not be the best move, but they're going to go for it. They want to complete that first and then complete the other one. They're going to try and do them both. We'll see if they manage. You can see I've gone for very much a clustered kind of technique, and they're going for a spreading, filling each of the columns, trying to get as much as possible during their scoring. Uh, so it's over to us, and I'm quite happy to just sit where we are and potentially take yellow, or jump one and take the two clear. I think we're going to do that. Take advantage of being able to take the two while it's there. And then it's reds go. Now they could complete this if they just have one red. And they can quite easily do that. So they're just going to take the one red from the middle. Or did they? Is there anything they can do to make things life harder for me? No. So they're just going to take the one red. That'll complete that. So they get two bonus points plus two. So that's four, five, six, eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're up to 36. So they're still quite a way behind. They really need to pick up in this kind of round and a half that we have left. I'll go and I'm just going to sit where we are and take clear. Draw, drop as much yellow into the middle as possible, I think. Actually, I'm going to wait for more to be put into the middle. I'm going to move left. So, reds go, he now wants to move left so that he can get a single blue to complete that one. Our turn, and I think I'm going to, let's just take a yellow. So we'll just build these up ready to score on, a, on the next round. Reds go, and they want a single blue, so they're going to do single blue, nice and easy. They get the three bonus points, plus two, so that's five. Seven, eight, nine, eleven points. So that will take them to 47. So they are speeding up. They are catching up. It's whether they can do it quickly enough and whether my clustering is going to beat their spreading because of the end game scoring. So I'll go. I just want to take a single white, I think. So, uh, or clear, so that we're kind of moving things over. And we'll go for this one here, dropping those in so that we can try and then pick up the two yellow on another turn, I think. And we definitely don't want to complete this white clear one yet because the next round is going to be bonus scoring for clear. Um, did we flip this? No, we didn't. So we should have flipped that. Uh, ooh, all orange. Not ideal. What they want now is clear to get this ready to score in the next round, or yellow to go in here. They kind of want to be focusing on these low down ones to get the benefit of having filled the rows now. So, they're going to move left. Our turn. We're going to move left because we want the yellow. They want clear. Um... So I think they're going to just take the one from the middle, which leaves it our go. We're going to take the two yellow back over to red. They're going to take the clear back over to us. There's no clear, no yellow. So let's ignore those. Going over to the left, we could either take the blue or the orange. We can't take the pink. If we go for the orange, then we're still got room to move for the blue. So let's do that. Reds go, and they can take two pink or two blue. And they'll both go in the same place. So I think what they're going to do is either way, they'll move over to there. They're then going to take the two blue because I can't place the pink. Let's go left so that we don't take the pink, but they're then going to actually do the exact same thing to force us into taking the pink. Arr. So we take that and we move over here. We break one piece of glass, so it goes in our broken glass, 
and that's then the end of another round. So our final round and we're going to be scoring on clear. So not a whole lot of clear coming out so far. Well, we've got one tile with two on. Not really that beneficial for us because we've only got one space where we can put clear. Ugh. We want a single clear to come out and it's not happening. Phew, a single clear. So yeah, quite a lot of clear has come out. So an interesting final round here, I think. Now, it's red to go first. He's at the very left and he wants a single clear. So annoying for us, he's going to take the one single clear that's there. And of course, he should put that in the middle and complete that. So he's going to get four bonus points, four for the column, so that's eight, then 11, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22 points. Taking him up to... Uh, where are we at? 69. He has taken the lead. Hmm. Huh. And flipping this over, he wants one pink and a whole lot of orange. So can he do that and get another huge score? For us, we could complete this if we do two orange, which is definitely available there. But I think we want to focus on doing what we want to be doing, which is getting two yellow and one clear. Now, we're not going to manage the one clear. That's, that's certain, because there's no tiles with just one clear on. So I think what we're going to do is just move left, ready to do yellow. It's now reds go. They'd quite like a whole load of orange. Now, there is quite a lot of orange there, but they want to control how they get it. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to take the two orange from here. And that means they can stay where they are, and it all just sits nice and pleasantly for them. Then now go, we only want two yellow. If we take one off of these, we may get the other one, or we may not. Or we can just guarantee we're going to take that piece of broken glass and take those. I think, I think we're just going to do that. Just guarantee we've got those yellows. So that'll be four points for the column, plus three, so seven, 10, 12, 14 which will take us to 72. So we've jumped back in the lead just. Um, and we need to move down for our broken glass. And remove this pane. So we've removed quite a few panes here. We're doing really well. We're going to have a big, big, big bonus at the end, I think. But the game's not over yet. So let's see, what's red going to do? Red wants two orange and one pink. Now there's one pink on each of the factories left. There's one factory of two orange, so they're going to take those. Our go, we want a single clear. There is no option with a single clear. We can't stop them getting the one pink that they want. We could set up to score this, but it's only going to get us one point anyway. I mean, we're going to break some glass here, so let's break some glass. Um, so we'll take the clear. I'm going to place one and break one. So we're both on minus 12 points from broken glass at the moment. But that'll get us five bonus points, plus three, so eight, 11, 13, 15 points. So one, two, three, four, five. Five is 77, so 87. And we now remove yet another pane. Wow, <laughs> we've completed so many. I, I think we've done really well. We've done a lot more than red has. So take that what we will. It is red's go, though. And they're going to take the single pink to complete this one here. No bonus points, but they're going to get four 7, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18 points. So that'll take them to 87. Ooh, how interesting. We are currently 
tied. And they get to remove their first pain from the game. Now, it's our go. <laughs> There's two orange in here that allow us to complete a pain. Let's just do it. There's no reason not to. It gets us one point at the cost of one point's worth of tiles at the end. Um, and actually, it's more than that because it'll get us bonus points for the diamond. So we'll do that. It's one point. We break the stalemate, just. And flipping that, we want lots of pink, which there isn't lots of pink. So that's not overly helpful for us. Now, for red, what do they want? There's four clear here, but there's no way they're going to get the fifth clear. So no point in them worrying about that. They can't do that. They cannot complete... Oh, they could complete this one, but it would mean one broken glass. So I think what they're going to do is just collect as many tiles as they can at this point. So they're going to go here and take the four clear. Although if they forced me into taking those, can they force me into taking them? I don't think they could. So yeah, they'll do that. Then our turn, we'll take the two pink and they'll take the two yellow. So that's then the end of the game. So let's look at red scoring here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiles left on their board. So that'll get them three points, taking them up to 90. So they're two ahead of us. So it's pretty close and we can now forget about those. They're going to make no difference to the rest of the scoring. They have minus 12, but we both have minus 12. So uh, 2, 10, 2, 10. Um, so that's those dealt with. Then we only have two tiles, so that's no points. So it's just the bonus points left for our diamonds. So we're currently behind, so we'll start with us. So four around is worth 10 points. So we've got 10 points for this one, which takes us to 87, 86, sorry. We've got 10 points for this one, so that's 96. And six points for this one, which takes us to 100 and two. And then red, if we have a look, it's got three here, so that's six points, uh, putting them up to 84. Then two is three points, so one, two, three, so they're on 87. Another three points, so 90. And another three points, so 93 to 102. So in the end, much closer than expected, but it was Blue who won.